Good evening, everyone. My name's Alice Edgerton. So what's this MSc about? Well, the MSc in psychiatric research really takes two main approaches um, to looking at psychiatric illnesses. So first of all, we're very interested in the causes of psychiatric disorders. So how elements in our environment or elements in our biology can impact on our bodies and on our brains and uh, lead to mental health disorders. Secondly, we're very um, interested in how research can actually improve outcomes for people with psychiatric disorders. So particularly how psychological and pharmacological interventions can be applied and improved um, to basically make people's lives a bit better. So the focus of this MSc is very much on the research um, side of things. It's less about what actually happens at the moment in clinical practice. So our emphasis is on developing really strong research skills. So obviously this is important if you want to do research yourself, but if you're going to work clinically, then it's really important that you understand the research well so that you can make evidence-based decisions um, about decisions that you're making um, during your clinical practice. So this is obviously a very important and very rewarding area to work in. If research can help us prevent mental health problems and improve outcomes for people that do have mental health problems, then obviously this is a very, very positive thing to be involved with. Um, and uh, this is important both for the individual patient, person involved, but also their family and society. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about our programme structure. We also have a very simple linear structure to the programme. In Term 1, we focus on building your skills in research methods and statistics in mental health because these skills are really the absolute foundation to doing research well. In Term 2, we have two modules, one called Biological Psychiatry and the other one Therapeutic Research in Psychiatry. And then in term three, you focus uh, mainly on your research dissertation project. In our term one, research methods, ethics and statistics module, we give you a very comprehensive knowledge of key research methods as applied to mental health. So different types of studies, so cohort studies, cross-sectional studies, clinical trials um, that are used. We talk about ethics, so um, about involving patients in research, how to do that in the correct and safe way, and also make sure that people have a very positive experience of participating in research. And we build strong statistical skills as well, so that you have a really good training in, first of all, how to analyse your own data, but secondly, how to look at published papers and published data and really critically evaluate those findings. So the biological psychiatry module in the second term really looks at these elements that can lead to mental health disorders. So, for example, we spend quite a lot of time talking about neuroimaging approaches, different types of neuroimaging methods. And we do some hands-on neuroimaging data analysis. We also talk about psychiatric genetics and biological risk factors, so things like genetics or things in our environment, so stress or smoking cannabis might affect the body and then impact on our mental health. The Term 2 Therapeutic Research in Psychiatry module is really focused on research into developing new interventions. So these are both pharmacological interventions and also psychological interventions. So this might be trying to find new therapies for people or it might be about how we can best apply our existing therapies in a better way to different people and ultimately how this sort of research can really be translated right through um, into clinical practice. So in the third term, the focus is on the all-important uh, research dissertation project. So this is your opportunity to get real hands-on research experience. We do this by pairing you up with an expert supervisor. So our MSCs also hosted by Psychosis Studies Department, but we have lectures and projects from right across the IOPPN. Um, so there's a really wide range, and we choose the pro well, you choose the project to suit what your interests are. So, for example, this year we've got some students who are going to be doing some neuroimaging data analysis. We have other students who are working um, in autism spectrum disorders. Other people who are interviewing um, patients and giving them questionnaires as part of a research study. So there's a really big range. And we give you a lot of support as well in developing your scientific academic writing over the course of the MSc and in writing up as far as possible your dissertation for a scientific publication in a journal. 
In term three, we have two very short modules as well that are there for two main reasons. The first reason is to support you in writing up your dissertation. And the second reason is to provide some extra information to help with um, development of your transferable skills for the next stage after the MSc. So, for example, this is about communicating research. It's about where we think the future of research is going. Because if you're going to be the next academics of the future, or indeed the next clinicians of the future, it's really important that we talk about where this field is going to be in five years or ten years' time. One of the most brilliant things at studying at the IOPPN, whichever course you're on, is that all our teaching staff are very much involved in education, but also incredibly research active. So they're telling you really about what's going on in their specialist fields, the kind of cutting edge stuff. But you're also able to talk to them really about, you know, what's this like on a day to day level to be involved in this type of research or involved in this type of um, clinical practice. We're quite a small MSc this year. We've got 27 students. We have a maximum of 30. Um, so this means that our lectures and small group tutorials are quite small. We have a lot of interactive sessions. I really like it because I get to know everybody individually and tailor some things like the dissertation topic and career support to individual people's preferences and requirements. And we were very pleased to receive 100% student satisfaction last year, um, which is outstanding. So in terms of careers after the MSc, from this MSc people really pretty much 50-50 fall into two camps. One being those who want to pursue an academic research career, so doing a PhD, and the other half want to pursue more of a clinical career working in psychology usually. And we support both of these career pathways. I should say that quite a lot of students when they join an MSc they're not really sure what they want to do and this is you know probably about a third of our students that would apply to which is absolutely fine an MSc is a really good opportunity to try and narrow that down and work out what your options are. So in terms of the PhD because this MSc puts a very strong emphasis on developing academic skills, um, this is very well supported. A lot of the PhD students at the IOPPN and junior researchers are former graduates of this programme. We've also got the clinical placement scheme on this MSc. It's optional um, because on this programme only a proportion of students want to do a clinical placement. Some people already have quite a lot of clinical experience, but these again are within clinical mental health teams in our local NHS trust. So I can take some questions and uh, please yeah, talk to me after the presentation. Get in touch with you if you'd like any further information. Okay, I'm being told that's it, but come and talk to me afterwards if you've got any questions. <laughs>